Imagine a country of 93 million people facing an electrical potential crisis, often with power cuts and price rising problems. These consequences lead to energy poverty and will be very harmful for Vietnam's manufacturing industries in both rural and urban areas. Vietnam's current energy mix includes hydropower, gas, coal, oil, wind, biofuel, and imports from other countries. In 2013, Vietnam consumed 11% more energy than it did in 2012, which is over 133.4 billion kilowatts per hour. So what is Vietnam's new energy mix going to be? Areas receiving long hours of sunshine have an obvious potential source of renewable energy if it can be harnessed. Countries like Vietnam have excellent solar radiation all year. Therefore, it is suitable in Vietnam. An estimate of 250 megawatt can be generated. How does it work? Solar energy can be made in three different ways, by focusing the sun's rays onto photovoltaic cells to produce electricity, or onto water and producing steam that drives a turbine to generate electricity, or by retaining and storing the solar heat into heat-absorbing materials. Location. This form of energy works well anywhere in Vietnam, especially in the southern region where there is more sunlight throughout the entire year of an average of 5 kilowatt per hour per meter square. The intensity is lower in the north at about 4 kilowatt per hour per meter square, but still at a high intensity. It is very useful for the developing countries such as Vietnam because they do not need to build huge and expensive power stations. Once the solar energy power generation or storage system has been installed, it can operate indefinitely. Solar energy is pollution and land damage free and therefore safe. It is ideal for isolated and rural regions as it can be built for individual homes. This is very efficient because rural or mountainous areas in Vietnam are not able to afford the expensive fees and the electricity needs to be imported from far away. However, some may argue that solar energy is inefficient as it cannot be used at night. But with the current technology, some energy can still be generated. <laughs> With a 3,000 kilometer coastline and an average wind speed of seven meters per second, Vietnam has some of the best potential for wind power in Southeast Asia. An estimate of 513,000 megawatts can be generated, equivalent to 200 times the output of the Sunla hydroelectric plant. They use wind to generate electricity, unlike a fan which uses electricity to make wind. The wind turns the blades that are linked to a shaft and a generator that produces electricity. It would work best in the central coastal region of Vietnam, Quang Ben, Quang Jui, Hue, etc., and in the south, Binh Thuong, Javin, Sopjang, where it has the most reliable source of wind. By using wind power, there are many advantages, like it's cheap to produce energy. One advantage is some people find the wind turbines very pleasing to look at. Many people in the countryside are either unemployed or work very far from their houses. Therefore, if the wind turbines can be placed in their area, job opportunities would open. The main disadvantage of wind energy is that, the, is that wind can never be predicted like areas where a large amount of wind is needed or wind strength is too low to support the wind turbine. Therefore, we chose to put the wind farms in places that have a reliable amount of wind, as well as it being not too strong for it would cause the wind turbine to break. The turbines may create noise, therefore area we chose are away from residential areas. Geothermal energy. Geothermal energy in Vietnam has great potential up to date the researchers have shown that Vietnam has more than 200 sources of hot water at temperatures of 40 to 100 degrees centigrade that provides us with the necessary basis for developing geothermal use. How does it work? Hot rocks heat water underground to produce steam. Holes are drilled so the steam shoots up. The steam is then used to drive turbines which power electricity generators. 
Geothermal energy has potential in certain places in Vietnam, especially Phu Tho, Quang Bun, and Quang Chi. We have also decided to put it in Hanoi because of the many sources of water there, and can also be used to warm the houses during the winter. Although geothermal energy is still under researching status in Vietnam, an estimate of 400 megawatts can be generated. Advantages. As stated before, geothermal energy is a potentially limitless source that is reasonably cheap and safe, as well as a reliable source. It produces 96% less carbon dioxide emission than a fossil fuels, which would be a lot for Vietnam, considering that our current energy mix consists of mostly fossil fuels. Some might argue and say that this method causes water pollution and release toxic gases, but with the new modern technology, this drawback can be eliminated. Another disadvantage is that it needs a large supply of water to be able to use geothermal power. This is why we have chosen to place the power plant exactly there, where it is close to multiple large sources of water. So why this energy mix? We've adapted Vietnam's geography and weather to each of our choices of energy sources, thus making the energy resources more effective and obtaining as much as possible. Currently, Vietnam is relying on other countries and is using too many limited resources. Since they are all renewable, they are, they are sustainable and won't run out. For the better future of Vietnam, invest in our project. 